Hey guys, Stripter here. Welcome to Modern Warfare In Depth. In today's episode, we're going to be reviewing this SCAR-17. I was almost going to move into sniper rifles, but I decided to take a break, relax, breathe for just a second, and work on some assault rifles that I let exclusive ace cover earlier this year, so I get a nice vacation from the truly terrible weapons, and the SCAR-17 is not that thing. The SCAR is a surprisingly good gun, and I think that many of you, when you use it, are going to like it, but after analyzing it, uh, you know, under a microscope here on In-Depth, I just have to admit that it's not a truly competitive weapon compared to some of the other rifles, and that's a difficult thing to say about a weapon that I like, that I can kill people with, that I enjoy using, but I know that some of the other guns are just a little bit better. One thing I want to add near the beginning of the episode before I jump into stats is that right now I am giving away an NVIDIA RTX 2080 Ti graphics card. This is the best GPU on the market, and I'm doing a giveaway for it here on this channel. You can find a link to it down there below in the description, and I hope that you all participate so that one of you can win this lovely capture card. But let's talk about the SCAR today, which will mostly be good things, and let's start off with the damage. It'll deal 35 damage up close and it'll decrease down to 32 damage at long ranges. And what's interesting about this is that unlike most weapons in Modern Warfare, this applies to the chest, the torso, and the limbs. So pretty much everywhere except the head is going to be dealing this exact same amount of damage, which does make it consistent. However, headshots will grant you significantly more damage at 56 damage to the head, down to 51 at long ranges, at least as long of a range as I was able to test. So to the best of my knowledge, headshots will always two-shot kill with the SCAR. And the SCAR is always going to be a three to four shot kill, just depending on your range. But unfortunately, with this weapon, unlike the AK and unlike a lot of the 7.62 weapons, the range isn't that great on the three shot kills. I thought the SCAR would have better range than this, but it really, honest to God, does not. So the base three shot kill range is 30 meters, which is just a little bit better than average for assault rifles. If you put the 17 inch barrel on there, it goes up very slightly to 32. The 20 inch barrel is pretty significant at 40 and close quarters combat barrel, which is like the tiny little bitty short one, that will take you to 20 down to 23 meters, which is a significant decrease. Monolithic suppressor does change, but it just barely changes anything. So yeah, none of these ranges are really that great, and I just have to let you know that this is greatly outclassed by the FAL, the Odin, and the AK-47 rifles when it comes to damage over range. The SCAR is just the lowest in the group among those. The rate of fire is 590 rounds per minute. I'm pretty sure they coded it to fire at 600, but when you measure this on consoles, you're going to get a little bit less than that due to frame rounding, and that's just a little bit slow for rifles. Uh, not all the rifles are bullet hoses in Modern Warfare, but that's just a little bit on the slower end things. That's kind of a number I would expect to see more out of light machine guns or specialty weapons, but I do suppose the SCAR does fall into that specialty weapon category. The theoretical time to kill ends up being pretty close to average at just over 200 milliseconds. It's almost perfectly average for the assault rifle class and almost perfectly average for the entire game, but because you'll need an extra shot to kill at range, the long range time to kill is actually a little bit slow compared to other weapons at range, which isn't ideal, but it's not bad. You're not often going to be at a big disadvantage with the SCAR. And I, you know, I said I was saying good things about this weapon, but it feels like the beginning of the episode was largely negative. So you would ask yourself, why do I enjoy using such a mediocre weapon? And the answer is, it can be improved greatly with certain attachments. Just putting some things on this gun really elevates its status and makes it much, much better. So today, I'm going to show you how to equip your SCAR with the best attachments for surviving World War III after our Astro promo about World War III. <laughs> World War III! World War III! World War III! World War III. <laughs> Wake up! Wake up! <laughs> Wake up! World War Three! World War Three! We gotta go! Come on! Come on! You need a helmet. Helmet goes on. I don't care about it. You need that. And no, 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 no. Army helmet. Army helmet. Army helmet. Perfect. Jessica, she good. What is this? It's clothes. No, this is dirty clothes. This is garbage. Repack this bag right now. Well, come on, come on, get this off, get this off. We gotta get your armor on. Uh, it's the it's apocalypse. It's Mad Max. I, hate it's, this armor. I don't care. I don't care. You need it in case we fight bandits on the road. There we go. Put your safety helmet back on. Oh, uh, can't reach above. Don't worry about it. Here, here, here. Take your gun. You'll need that. Okay, we gotta go. We gotta go. Need. 
boost, check, light bulbs, kiwis, World War Three, World War Three. We need chips, go chips, protein bars, all the protein bars in the bag. Go, go, go. Jessica, we got sweat organics, let's go. Oh yeah, dog food, dog food, dog food. Come on, come on. We gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. Move, 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 move. We go. All right, let's go, come on. Oh, come on, Elantra, I need you to go. It's the the world. It's World War Three. Jessica, are you prepared? What's happening? World War Three. World War Three is happening. We gotta go. Okay. We gotta go. All right, we gotta get out of Dallas, okay? And we gotta go north. We gotta go north to like, I, I don't know, Oklahoma, Alabama, that's east-west. We gotta go, we gotta- Wait, go. wait, we forgot something. what did we forget? what did we forget? Right here. Okay. Astro headsets. Good. Good to go. Okay. Okay, you good? Yes. You can hear? Yes. Somehow? All right. Yes. Perfect. Those are some great headsets. Okay, let's plug her in to the aux. This is an old car, and let's hit it. If you'd like to purchase your own Astro survival gear for World War III so that you can listen to music on the road, it's 5% off with the link down there below in the description. And even if you don't want headsets, I would appreciate you to click that link so that my click-through rate is super awesome and high. Thank you all for your attention for the promo. Let's get back to the episode because we got a lot to talk about here today. The aim down sights time and the overall handling stats on the SCAR are slow. I think we all knew that, but let's get into the nuts and bolts of it. The base aim down sights time I measured at 316 milliseconds. I know this is significantly different than when Ace posted his video, but honest to God, that's just what I measured. And the 17 inch barrel was a pretty significant increase up to 366 milliseconds. The 20 inch barrel was a colossal increase up to 400. Close quarters combat was 283, so a slight decrease. And the tack laser was identical at 316. I'm not exactly sure what went wrong here. Perhaps they buffed it, perhaps they nerfed it. The good old stealth nerfs are so fun. We don't know, but these aren't the only things that change your SCAR. If you put the 25 round mag on it, it'll increase your ADS time a little bit to 333. The 30 round mag will increase a little bit more to 350. Stippled is about the same as the tack laser of no change that I could measure. Collapsible stock and close quarters combat stock each will decrease it down to 283, which is nice. But of, and of note, the collapsible stock will allow you to run faster, but it will also increase your recoil. So there are trade-offs there. Next up, let's talk about the SCAR sprint out times. The base is 283, which is a little bit faster than what I was expecting. With a stippled grip tape, it goes down effectively a frame to 266. And with a five milliwatt laser, it goes down a couple of frames to 233. These aren't super impressive numbers, and let's take a look at our minimum times. The minimum aim down sights time and minimum sprint out time that I got on the SCAR are both 200 milliseconds, which makes it maybe slightly faster than average for assault rifles if you kit it purely for speed, but it's still gonna be behind default on most of the submachine guns in the game. So the end result of this is that you can make the SCAR faster on all fronts, both your aim down sight speed, your movement speed, your uh, sprint out speed, all of that, but you can't make it crazy fast like an SMG. One of the most popular loadouts for the SCAR and one of the ones that you've seen the most in this video is the close quarters combat PDW SCAR or version of the gun. And while that's fun to use and it can be very satisfying, it is ultimately not going to be competitive with an SMG because your reaction time is just going to be slower by default. Let's talk about recoil. The recoil is a little bit on the high side of things for the SCAR, but thankfully it's mostly vertical. I struggle with it without attachments because my first couple of shots kick a little bit too much. However, the recoil can be greatly lowered with various attachments, and I think the right attachments is really what makes the SCAR bump. You can make it a right proper laser beam with the right attachments if you want to, but that makes the handling kind of miserable and slow. So I think a balanced approach is overall better. And of note, the SCAR has the unique bipod 
foregrip, which is kind of like a bad bipod and a bad foregrip, but it's still both in one. So that's kind of nice to use in ground war. You can crouch and prone out and get more accuracy if you need it. It's not a bad attachment. It just don't really depend on it to be an awesome version of either attachments like the, the great value or like the family dollar, dollar sword, dollar general version of either, but you do get two for one, which is nice. And for once, I think the iron sights are actually really good on the scar. It's at least good enough for most 6v6 maps. If you're gonna be running relatively close quarters, probably within that three shot kill range at 30 meters, you probably don't need sights. I'm kind of terrible at using iron sights and I'm old and I have no thumbs and I'm washed and I'm bad at Call of Duty. So sometimes I need to equip the iron sights just so that I can see what I'm shooting at, but I can definitely do without them. And I think most of you will be able to do the same thing. Magazine size is 20, but it can be boosted up to 25 or Big Whoop 30. These do have significant ADS time penalties and they have movement speed penalties, which are far, far from ideal. And ammunition is one of the biggest concerns that I have when I'm running my SCAR. Reload times are a little bit on the slow side for assault rifles, so they're not swift here. Sleight of hand might be your friend on some classes. A full reload with a bullet in the chamber is 101.8 seconds and an empty reload meaning you have to rechamber around is significantly slower at 2.37 which is the slowest reloading assault rifle that i measured period so this one this one's a little bit on the slow side and ammo is a major concern for the scar uh, so in some of the gameplay i'm running fully loaded on this weapon so that i just have as much ammo as i can or i'm running ground war so that i can pick more up but with only 20 rounds per mag and only 40 in store, you've got 60 rounds total. It still takes three to four to kill. You can miss. You will often burn through your ammo by the time you've killed five, maybe six people on a good day. And maybe if you're all better than me and you know you shoot headshots only and you're all laser beams, but I think the majority of you are gonna struggle with ammunition. So you need to be considerate of running over somebody's AK to pick up more 762 or stopping by the ammo pile or running the ammo crate as your specialist perk or perhaps running extended mags or fully loaded or something because I ran out of scar ammo like crazy. At various parts of this end up, episode I was just picking up other guns to keep the streak going because I was just totally out of scar bullets and in my opinion the scar can be a very fun gun to use and it can really dump truck some people at range because they're not expecting it and it's it's probably the most accurate of the long range guns in my opinion except maybe for the FAL but semi-automatics are a little bit different the problem with it though is that it's a very high skill weapon and truly it isn't as good as having an M4 kilo or AK or a lot of the assault rifles. So don't get me wrong, the M4 and Kilo, we know how those work. Low damage, laser beams, good time to kill. The AK does most of the same tricks that the SCAR does, but it has much better range on it. And it kicks a little bit more, but you can mitigate that with the heavier barrels so it's not as bad. And the Odin and the FAL, and they, they all do a pretty similar job. And I think the SCAR just kind of struggles because as a heavier weapon of slower handling, it doesn't get quite the same reaction time as the others when properly kitted. But I did find two versions of this weapon to kit out that are really fun to use and I think that most of you will enjoy. The first one is the close quarters combat setup. This is the one I use the most on Shoot House. I like running the 30 round mags on it. Sometimes the 30 round mags does slow the gun down and the movement speed down a little bit so I put an asterisk by that when you can trade it out for sleight of hand or something. But 30 round mags because you're going to be spraying. Close quarters combat barrel, stippled grip, and collapsible stock and 5 milliwatt laser. You've effectively kitted the weapon to be as fast as possible. Spray out and aim down sights time so you can just zip around and hose people and getting three shot kills is nice the problem with this is that an mp5 also three shots kills and it just handles way faster so it's fun it's neat to use but it's truly not competitive with smgs and i had some success actually running a hybrid version of this with like putting maybe two speed attachments and then a whole bunch of uh, recoil mitigation ones on there primarily i just do the short barrel and the stock but it wasn't quite as effective the one that i had the most success with was the balance setup i would run a 1x optic of choice or maybe the vlk 3x because i love the vlk 3x and then i would run two attachments to reduce my recoil compensator and commando foregrip that's going to reduce both vertical and horizontal recoil it'll overall keep the gun much much more in line and then I ran two attachments that increased my aim down sight speed. The stippled grip, which is very minor, if anything, it helped the sprint out maybe theoretically, and the close quarters combat stock so that they stack and get a little bit. And when you run your weapon like this, it's effectively a pure bonus weapon. You've got good sight.
sights, you've got less recoil than the base version, and it reacts faster than the base version of the gun. So the balance setup really did work, it was really good for me, but do keep in mind at the end of the day, the SCAR is not a competitive weapon, but it is going to feel really good. You're going to have a lot of fun when you use it, and I know that I did. Guys, I hope that you enjoyed this in-depth episode, I hope that you learned something useful. If you did, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe, or buy a World War III Astro product. Drifter out. <sighs> Wake up! Wake up! <laughs> Wake up! World War Three! World War Three! We gotta go! Come on! Come on! So Don't you love Astro? Is it Astro your favorite? <laughs> hey, this is can't, this is waterproof. It can't hurt me. Uh, what? <laughs> 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 no! Oh my god! Oh my god!